my god. So, do we take an axe to the tree? Next time I'm bringing a chainsaw. Look at this chunky monkey. What an amazing day. not good. Fish on! Lots of rain, lots of clouds, lots of wind, and uh, maybe some sunlight. <laughs> um, right now the weather's beautiful, so you know hopefully it holds. Uh, the weather network has been all over the place all week. We are actually doing something a little different this time. Typically we end up taking the hard route and our trips for an entire week is a total grind. This time we actually both agreed that we'd like a chill, relaxing trip. Not to say that we don't like the grind, but uh, for once, we're actually gonna try and just set up base camp and uh, spend our time fishing. Just on the way to go meet up with him now. Looks like we're on a good start to the trip already. I, uh, I just had to stop at Brody's place because he's already at the uh, meetup location. Um, he forgot his paddle. Who goes canoeing without a paddle? We're driving down uh, this old logging road here to get to the Puddin. It's about probably an hour drive down this road. Um, yeah, we're out of service now. Uh, it's pretty wild how far these logging roads can go. And this one's actually relatively uh, smooth, considering. Um, so yeah, see how when we find the, uh, the pudding. Just seen a bear. Oh, look at him, a little cub. Well, that was cool. Oh my God. Just as I'm saying this. Look at this. Look what I just drove up on. Who was like, we should bring a chainsaw. <laughs> Mr. Mister's gonna paddle with his hands. I was like, oh, we don't need a chainsaw. Dude, you said you're strong. You can lift a tree. So let's see this. Okay, well I can't lift this one. <laughs> It'll be close. So, do we take an axe to the tree, or do we go to the other access point? Tough call. <laughs> I don't know. I have a toe strap so we can cut maybe the top end and drag it, but we have, what, an hour of daylight left maybe? Hour and a half? Yeah, decisions. All right, well, lesson learned. Bring a chainsaw if you're going down back roads. We're gonna turn around and we're gonna go to the uh, other put-in. Look at this goon, backing up down the road. Thinks he's super cool. <laughs> Who needs an awning on their vehicle anyways? So we're gonna spend the night 
at uh, this little site here, just at the boat launch. Um, and then tomorrow morning, we're gonna hit the water. And uh, it's supposed to be like 30 kilometer wind, so hopefully it's not that. No, it might look like we have lots of firewood. It took us a whole six minutes to get all this. Basically, you just have to walk into the bush and pull it out. Starting the fire here, we're gonna cook some dinner. Then go to bed early because we're gonna have a nice bright and early morning. Nice ritual steak and potato dinner before we go to bed. Very nice. Oh, I think we're gonna get a little bit later of a start today because uh, it just started raining really early in the morning and then now it's snowing and the ground is covered in snow right now, so that's fun. <laughs> So it's like 7 in the morning now, um, I haven't left the truck, Brody hasn't left his truck. I think we both collectively, without speaking, agreed that we're just going to wait this out a bit. Because uh, right now it's like full blown snowing. Good morning. Nice partridge. Loading up here, we're gonna put it in the water and hope for the best. <laughs> Look at this. All right, about to hit the water. Just gonna muck some wraps before we head out since we skipped breakfast. And it's now technically lunchtime, I guess. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm already freezing my balls off. Yep.
Current's so strong right there. <laughs> yeah. I mean if the water was a little bit deeper it would have been easier. I kept hitting the bottom with my paddle. I know. <laughs> Come out here to feed, to feed on some nice brook trout swimming through. Oh yeah. <laughs> My back's well, already showing. I guess we can count ourselves lucky that we're not doing uh, uh, eight portages today. <laughs> I'm very excited to just kind of chill even though if we're going to be freezing. <laughs> It'd be nice to make like a a good fire with like a reflective wall. Yeah. This is my feet. Yeah. Set them like that. Like one of like each end of our hammock tied to the same tree. Pretty much. Yeah. And kind of make like a V shape. Yeah. That would be sick. Lucky I'm not making you paddle with your hands for the first hour of the trip. I wouldn't have, I would have made it like three feet. <laughs> no, I didn't turn to go up that rapid part with the, your hands. It never happened. <laughs> you just hear the wind howling, eh? Yeah. You just hear the wind howling. Just finished paddling through the first lake. Naturally, I lost my hat. Uh, pretty windy. A oh, nice little calm spot to just chill for a bit. We're about maybe 15 minutes from the next lake, so here we go. running and jogging and stuff to warm up. So it's a campsite we found. Really nice spot. Our pit. Bunch of wood still. And 
and uh, I think we're gonna set up our hammocks. I'm gonna use this tree, share that one there, and we got that one to connect it to. So nice little setup, and then we can string a tarp over everything to do a nice shelter for when it rains, because it's going to rain. Oh, are you warm yet? No. <laughs> I'm freezing. All right, we're gonna get stuff set up here and get a fire going because we need to warm up. So we got the two hammocks set up and we got a tarp set up to keep our gear dry and out of the rain. Dinner time. We got mountain chili. What do you got? Chili macaroni with beef. Yeah. See how she goes. The evening turned out to be a lot less windy. Uh, it's still fairly cold, so we're probably gonna freeze tonight, but we are praying. All right, I'm just called into the hammock. We're gonna call it a night. See you in the morning. What's that? See you in the morning. morning day three so we're gonna pack everything up and we're gonna move around try find a uh, better campsite to set up base camp because we like to do some fishing and we're gonna probably have three days of rain here so yeah here we go That sun feels so good. Thank you for coming out today, son. I very appreciate that. Even though it's still like minus five right now. There's a cool layer of ice on the shore here, making a bunch of noise. All right, about to hit the water. Gonna do some fishing, some scouting. Looking for a nice campsite for the next four days. Oh, goodbye campsite. Moving on to the lake, beautiful day today, tropical weather, super happy, good What's vibes. Your What's your name? All right, let's get to work.
peaceful and calm. Such a drastic difference from day one. Waking up, waking up to some snow. Oh, just so nice, so grateful. So grateful right now. Oh yeah, you have the press one, eh? Yeah. Oh, my filter's frozen. Can you clear the dirt off of the end of my canoe? Thanks, bud. Well. Goes ahead and smacks it. As we drifted over, I think we found the other campsite. I had to cut my line yesterday because I got snagged. So I'm just gonna put a new swivel head on and then throw a trolling line in the water. Maybe we can get lucky. Well, fisherman's knot. Try out my old EGB. Hopefully that works out good. We'll see. Got a few things I want to try today. There we have it.
I'd like break ice too, it was kind of fun. Oh, did you? What a beautiful day. Couldn't ask for anything else. This is perfect. Everything on the list. So, very grateful to have this today. And uh, yeah, so we're still looking for a campsite. We're just kind of putting along, taking our time. We would like to set up early because we kind of skip breakfast again. Um, and that's kind of the trade off we've been doing. It's uh, if we sleep in, we skip breakfast, kind of hit, get on the water quick. Um, otherwise, we wake up early, make breakfast, and then you know, hit the road. But uh, yeah, I am having the time of my life right now. This is amazing. So, beautiful. So we decided we're gonna stay at this site. It's a beautiful site. And uh, we're just unloading our gear here. We're gonna, we're not gonna set anything up right now. We're just gonna unload everything and uh, enjoy the day. Make some coffee and some lunch as we skip breakfast again. Uh, and I'm on day three of no coffee and my head is killing. Brody's just hanging up his sleeping bag because he woke up with it soaking wet. Beautiful sight. Good luck butterfly. He was just chilling on your bag too earlier. Uh, yeah. yeah. Look at the size of these moose tracks. That's huge. Oh yeah, so Brody caught a trout already. He uh, decided to do it off camera, but he did take a photograph of it, which I believe is photoshopped, but I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but yeah. <sighs> oh and one. Chuck a beer. Happies can be. Okay. Looks like one ball. Ball, ball, and ball. Did you, see, did you hear that crack? Yeah. <laughs> that comes down, we're dead. What a way to go out. 100% one of us dies. No, I'd fall Unless that it way. Fall, I don't think it would. I think it would collapse in the middle and like half of it would go this way, half of it would go that way. Imagine waking up to it, like just missing us. Imagine waking up and like not even hearing it go down and you just like wake up and you're like, what the, yeah, that's what I mean. what the heck? By the way, the tree we're talking about is this one right here. So it wasn't 
gonna, but... Are you inspired yet? No, I'll just try something new. Thing is too, I just want it to be really watery, just to, so I get that. Yeah. Hydration. It's probably gonna be way too watery, but... Lunch or breakfast? Like that we actually made. I mean, it was worth skipping two breakfasts and lunches for this, so. Oh yeah, for sure. It's only one o'clock. And I'm pretty sure that campsite is there. In that end there. Which one? The one that I was thinking of on the map. No, I think it is that one. Because it's directly across. But like, I guess I wouldn't be surprised too if there is another... more campsites. Alright, we're going fishing. satisfying. The oatmeal is very satisfying. ditch the uh, old Canadian tire rod holder because that thing was not cutting it. Almost lost my rod twice so relying on the old uh, seat and foot truck. Right now I'm trying to just troll along the there's a shelf on the lake where it dips down. This is a fairly deep lake. Uh, I think some points it's actually 300 feet deep so uh, I'm trying to fish that angle just before it gets really deep. Oh, I'll just snag, that's all. It sounds like there's like a dying wolf. So for like 10 minutes, Brody and I were freaking out, wondering what this whining noise was. We thought like a pack of wolves had killed something. Turns out it's my rod. I have a vibrating uh, wrap jig and uh, when it uh, echoes through the canoe, it just amplifies it. Terrifying. <laughs> oh my god. Cheers. Cheers, man. Cheers. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, yeah. 
What a great day this turned out in. Turned out to be a beautiful evening. And here's base camp set up. We are ready, ready for rain. This is looking awesome, very excited. I'd like to submit a complaint. Your uh, clothesline is impeding on my beautiful view here. A fire going on the beach, enjoying some beers. I think it's gonna be our last nice evening based on the weather. Seven no. day trip, six days of rain. Yeah, and uh, yeah, everything is set up. Yeah. So, should be a good night. And then we'll have to hunker down for the next couple of days, I think. But we'll see, we'll see what happens. It's about 20 after 3 now, laying in the hammock, about to go to bed, try to get some sleep. Tried to make the most out of this day because it's still, you know, quite nice out. Um, we also seen something jump across the little creek that's, uh, you know, I'm not sure if the camera will pick up the water running in the background, but there's a little creek that runs by. And uh, yeah, that kind of woke us up a bit. So uh, I'm going to try to get some sleep here and uh, hopefully tomorrow is not as bad as the forecast seemed to call. So, see ya. Why don't we stop raining? Let's see what we have in store today. Yeah, good morning. It's day four. The forecast, I guess, was correct. It rained, or it snowed, and then rained this morning. Um, about 10 now, and it's cleared up, as you can see. But uh, I imagine it will continue to rain today. Crazy how much this drooped down. Getting our bear bag.
Ooh, that smells good. So we're out here fishing the little lake behind our campsite. Looks like we might have a few hours of no rain, so we're gonna take advantage of that. This is a fishing trip after all. Having some lunch before we go back out and do some more fishing. Brody's just walking around in the water like a... He's probably checking out what what crossed the lake, what crossed the stream last night. That scared the shit out of us. Low game trail back there. Day four is turning out to be actually amazing. Um, we're super grateful for this weather. We just spent um, you know two hours this morning fishing on a small lake behind us and I think we're gonna go spend the rest of the afternoon fishing on uh, this larger lake here that we're camping at. What a beautiful day. I can't believe this is how it turned out. Literally, it was snowing this morning. Absolute insanity and I'm fired up. Let's go catch some fish. My wife Jessica is currently writing her last exam right now and uh, I'm just uh, wishing her luck right now to an end. Luck, Brody's wishing her luck. Last year, last year law school for her. Good luck babe. Look at this chunky monkey. Oh yeah, what a great looking fish. Beautiful. That's what we're here for. I let that last trout go. We're still out here fishing a bit, but I think uh, I'm gonna head in soon, get some firewood ready so that we have uh, you know, some fuel for tonight because we were not expecting this day that we had today. Um, I honestly can't say how, how happy and uh, thankful I am that today was not spent, you know, in the hammock under, you know, rain. Um, what an amazing day today turned out to be.
Well, today turned out to be an amazing day. Despite what the weather forecast was calling for, had an awesome day, arguably the best of the trip so far. So we're gonna spend the rest of the evening by the fire, cook some dinner, enjoy the nice evening with uh, clear skies it looks like, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Morning struggle. It's gonna be like tough. Once you get your rain suit on, you can't really get back into your hammock. Yeah, I know. It's making it really hard to leave. <laughs> I have to pee so bad, but I just want to stay cuddled all night in here. It's so nice and warm. making some coffee and I think today we're gonna make some pancakes some grand crap grand crappers crappers <laughs> grand grand crap you're not editing that out either bud graham crackers yeah graham crackers graham crackers and coffee are actually a very good mix right now they're going down really well so day five now, and uh, today's more of a chill day, kind of raining, and you know, we're okay with it. We're blessed with the last couple days being really nice, so. Brody's double tarping his hammock. I'm just playing, man. Yeah. Just playing around. It would be sick if we set this one up, like, because it's a lot bigger, eh? And then you can just, like, take your other one off. Is it basically the same length? Yeah, oh yeah. But as a square. Yeah, it's a square, so then you have more coverage on the uh, on the ends. The only issue now though, because they set it up over this part, the inside of this one is soaked. No. Oh. So I don't think I can remove the other one. No, I think if you, once you like... I was going to set it up really high if I can. Yeah, set it up high, taut, and then just shake it. And then after like an hour or something, it should be dry.
I'm just out uh, trolling pretty much near the same spot I was yesterday where I got my trout. I'll see if we can reel in another one. Sort of similar process as yesterday. I'm kind of just trolling. This lake has sort of a natural shelf and it gets it goes from shallow to really deep and so I'm just trying to fish that that shelf angle there. Um, so far that's proven successful for both of us. Um, yeah. Mm. Kind of amazing right now. It's ringing, kind of like spinning, I guess. But I feel like it's all just avoiding me, which is kind of neat. Um, I know that's not true in the case, but it's just how it feels. thinking about a lot of things right now. Um, I'm sure it has to do with being day five and just being emotional with the environment now. It's been such a crazy year and a uh, very uncertain year. So just a lot of things to think about. My wife and I were actually just finishing school this year. Uh, we're gonna be done school officially. That's eight years of schooling for both of us um, And so it's kind of a moment of transition where we're going to be moving on to you know the next chapters of our lives and uh, We really don't know what we have in store, but I'm grateful that I have an amazing partner who's uh, very supportive of everything I do and I know that wherever we end up we'll be happy and uh, Yeah, it's just wild right now because with the pandemic and everything um, housing has gone crazy and we're trying to find a house because um, we would like to settle but right now things are going for 150 to you know more than that plus uh, over asking price and it's just completely out of whack for first-time home buyers it just makes it really difficult you know people coming in from the city because the pandemic really has shown them that they're not going to be comfortable living and working from a little condo, uh, a half million dollar condo, but a half million dollars here in Northern Ontario is a lot and can basically get you anything you want. So that really definitely affected the market for a lot of locals here. And I get it. Um, this is a truly amazing landscape and I want to share it with everyone but at the same time it's like a double-edged sword I want to keep it for myself and I know it's selfish but it's just the way the world works I guess I must say that I am grateful to be out here right now I feel like myself I feel like I've I'm rejuvenated and I'm happy and I'm content and I'm grateful for everything that I have sorry I'm ranting on for way too long I don't even know if I'm gonna edit this into the video, but it just feels good to say.
while I was out fishing, enjoying my time here, Brody was doing some tarpology, which is the science of erecting a tarp and the skills required. Running pretty low on paracord here, so uh, it's giving me a walk around here. I did some, uh, I did some thinking to try and make it then taut. Took a live branch that was already on the ground. Flex action. Must say it's pretty smart. Keep it nice and taut. That's cool. I'm gonna try the paddle tail the whole time, I think. Yeah? What are you gonna try? My mats? So we're out fishing on uh, the small lake again. Hopefully we can catch some brook trout. So this evening has turned out to be equally amazing weather-wise and uh, I think we're just going to spend the rest of the evening fishing this small lake. If we catch something good, if we don't, so be it. Um, and then after that we'll probably make our way back to the camp and make some pancakes. Beaver. Today's dinner, rice, veggies, and beef jerky, very yummy. Like I've been living in the bush for a week yet. So, uh, morning of day six, and wow, that's all I can say. Um, there's something that has to be said about kind of expecting the worst weather wise and then being blessed with what you see behind me here. It's, it's truly an amazing experience. It is a little colder today, but um, I think once the sun kind of gets up and roaring, we should be good and we'll take that as a chance to dry our, all of our stuff. Uh, because last night it dipped down, it must have dipped down below zero because everything started frosting over um, and everything is a little still frozen this morning. So I think today's gonna be an exciting fishing day because, uh, well, there's no wind and uh, we have this whole lake to ourselves, so here we go. At this point you develop a routine with the environment that you're living in. 
and the landscape radiates within you and it's up to you what to do with that energy. The energy that you spend throughout the day directly reflects to your well-being. The thing I like to remember during these trips is that the gear and even the destinations are simply a means to an end. The goal is to learn about our world, scenery, wildlife, history and culture, and just share good quality time with family and friends. Learning new skills and doing it in a respectful and understanding way in terms of how we look at nature and wildlife. At the rate that we're exploiting materials and resources from our planet is just truly not sustainable. And I, I really don't know what the answer is, but I do think that we need to shift our mindset and change the way we do things in the sense that I think everyone's goal should be to make a positive impact on the world. Having that mindset to be respectful and understanding with nature and wildlife. We're only here for a short period of time and so we might as well make it count. May I interest you in a piece of candy? Yeah. Get over here! Deep Diver Debbie! The lure that catches trout. But not really, because it's on Brody's rod. Here, we got shorts on. Amazing. Just gonna finish eating lunch here and then we're gonna head up the lake behind us here and do some more fishing. Fish on! Oh. I think it's a brookie too. Come on. I don't want to lose him. Woo! Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> that doesn't even look like a boat trout. It definitely is. It is, but it doesn't look like one. That's actually really pretty. It's beautiful. Get this hook out of your mouth and then I will let you on your way. Oh, you're still good. Alright, that's brook trout number one. That's not a brook trout. What is it? That's an aurora trout. It's not an aurora trout. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's got a circles on it. That had a silver thing. Uh, an aurora trout bottom. is like dark green and has a bright orange stripe on its side. I don't think so, man. <sighs> we'll do research when I get back. Did you catch that trolling or casting? Just jigging. Is it up and down? Yep, pretty much. So I got that using just this little jig. Orange jig with a uh, white tube, small white tube on it. 
a little beat up because it's caught me some fish before with this, but uh, yeah, so far it's served me well. I think I should probably close the clasp. It's probably uh, wise. So day six ending on a good note. Got enough firewood for the night. Always watching. <laughs> Always watching, Mike Wazowski. Well, the wind suddenly changed and became very apparent. Assuming a storm might be rolling in, so uh, we're just gonna stake down the tarps and uh, prepare for the worst, basically. Came out of nowhere. All right, so the end of day six and uh, Brody and I are sitting here talking and I think we're gonna, if the weather's nice tomorrow, we might actually just pack up and start heading back home. We feel that we've met all the goals that we set before this trip and everything's been satisfied. And really, you know, we don't wanna overstay our welcome. We've been blessed with awesome weather when we were expecting terrible weather. Trip's been everything I ever could imagine. From going from snow and rain to sun and catching fish. No bugs, beautiful calm lakes every night. It's been a dream and it just feels selfish to stay another day for no reason. Can't thank the area enough for what is provided and to that I cheers. Cheers, bud. Great trip. Where are we going next? <laughs> the wind right now is actually insane. It's been going all night. I'm gonna say it's at least 50 kilometers an hour. not good okay uh, so we're still here we had full intentions on leaving this morning but mother nature decided to hold us here um, woke up to snow and a very strong winds probably about 80 kilometer winds um, and so everything was soaking wet <laughs> and we basically set up here in the trees to hang out and see if the wind would die down. Be around four o'clock we decided to attempt to leave and the waves were still way too big. So here we are, we're gonna spend the night, basically just eat dinner and go to bed because we're gonna wake up first thing in the morning and, and hit the lake, try to get out of here. One last goodbye. We're actually heading out now. Oh, it turned out to be a beautiful morning. We're gonna hit the water bright and early. Thank you, beach site. We'll be back, don't you worry. I burned out like a wandering ember I shone bright then my journey was over What I sought when I ran Was back where I began no matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home, I'm coming home. Leave open the gate, don't turn off the light, I'm coming home. I'm coming
coming home Though I fought with my claws and teeth Though I elbowed my way to a seat There'd be no kind of peace like you beside me No matter the rain, no matter the storm I'm coming home, I'm coming home Open the gate, don't turn off the light. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Nothing's as it seems in the photo. Nothing is as sweet going so long. Nowhere I can rest. My mind could slow my coming up and loaded on the trucks that was the excellent trip trip of a lifetime thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it we're gonna go muck some Wendy's or McDonald's yeah we are welcome to Wendy's what can I get for you Hi, can I get a uh, Baconator combo? And I'll also do a spicy chicken wrap, please. And a bottle of water. Thank you. Welcome. Ooh, should be really nice.